All right, today we're off to the southern tip of India. We're heading to Kanyakumari. We're gonna be taking the train for the first time and then maybe some buses. So right now we're on our way to the train station. We're gonna try and grab an auto and not get ripped off. We got a mate here. Hello, sir. Vanakam, how are you? You go to railway station? How much? 150. 150, no, 80. 80. No? 150 is very high. 100. 100 is good. No. No? Okay. Well, that's someone else. So our mate doesn't want to take 100. But our hotel man genuinely said it should cost 80. So. Malakam, you go to the railway station? Railway station. How much? How much? 100, sir. Long, long, long mileage. No, it is not. Ah, uh, long. 100. No, 150. 120. 120. 150. 120. 120. 120. 150. 120. No? 150. It's close. Five minute drive. 120. 150. Five kilometers. Okay. It's okay. What is that someone else? Balakam. Huh? You know railway station? Railway station. Ra yes. How much, sir? Train. Yes, train station. Yes. Okay. How much, sir? One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Okay. There we go. Okay, yeah, Dindigal Junction. Dindigal? Junction, Dindigal Junction. Okay. Right, there we go. Oh. Nanjui. We're in. We did it. There we are. Thank you, sir. That's there. Dindigo Railway Station. Here she is, Dindigo Junction. So let's go in. Let's see how the Indian Railway experience is. Our first time. Great, here we go. Very curious how this will be. It looks quite busy. You can see over there, you can buy all your tickets. Now, we actually have bought a ticket. You can do it on the um, Indian Rail website app. And it was like 100, 150 rupees for this six hour train. We're in the lowest reserve class. See how, see how it is. So that's platform two, three. What did he say? Up here, you just get a lift to go across. Where to? Platform four. Platform four. So we're on platform four. Oh, I can see there's like a walk over the tracks. There we go. So here we go, we've got an old Indian train here, look at this, it looks um, quite classic, it's got an old classic look. Look at this. Looks alright to be fair. Second class, there we go. Fairly busy. Let's go over here. So here we are on platform four. It's absolutely massive, it's like one of the longest train platforms I've ever seen, so I'm guessing Indian trains are very long. So I have no idea where our class will be. I guess we'll just have to ask someone. They'll find out when the train comes, I don't know. It's quite a nice train station though. To be fair, it's quite spacious. But we've got a big old clock here. This little shop over there, just grab the water. I think we cracked it. These signs tell us this train's heading towards Madurai. And this is where coach number nine comes. I think we're in coach number one. So let's go down here and hope for the best. And if we're in the wrong place, I'm sure someone will help us. One of the train blokes. Oh, mate, it's just walked across the track, so if you fancy it, you don't have to go over the top, you can just walk across, like in um, any other country. So the train station's actually quite classic. It's got a bit of a charm to it. It just feels like an old English train station. All the signs are hand painted and stuff. It's alright. It's fairly peaceful, look. 
Not many people there. Oh, the train's like this. There she is. The beast. Now, our mate over there told us the first five carriages are unreserved, and then maybe we're somewhere around here, so we'll find out. There's a ladies only carriage with men in. Oh, it's just full of men. <laughs> That's so funny. Ladies only. Never seen that one before. Yeah, it looks like a classic train there. So, how do we know what's what? Second class. Well, I think this guy's gonna show us. Absolute hero saving the day. Oh, people are getting on selling snacks. Hello, sir. Oh, we have to be quick. Gosh. So, what are these? SR. Chair car. I think we're in one of these. Oh mate, it's running! Bloody hell! How are you supposed to know where your car is? Right, D4 is here. We're D1. So let's get a sprint on before we um, train sets off without us, eh? <laughs> He's what? It's like a captain, this sprint. It's got a nice ginger Edda locks on it. This one. Next one. Thank you so much, Roman Andrew, thank you. Alright, so we're at D1, which I can see over here. It looks fairly busy. I feel like we should have just flipping and gone in the unreserved because it looks like quite spacious, it was the beds. D1. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> so what are we in? 58, 59. Excuse me. Sorry, my friend. It's fucking hot in here. Where are we late? In these corner ones, yeah? Okay. He's putting a luggage up. Luggage crisis. Oh, sorry. So I just need to whiz the bags up here on the top. 58, 59. Okay. Everyone's helping us here to be fair. So, they were doing a bit of shuffling about. God, it's chaos. Do you want to just come? Sorry, what? You want to see the adjustment? Okay. Actually, yeah, you're a person, uh, they're occupying our seat. Oh, so you're sitting So we just sit in someone else's seat? No, one person can sit here. Okay, one person sit here and then one person sit where? <laughs> okay. Oh, the man Okay. Let's put the bags up and then. Where can we put them? Just whiz them off here. You know, it's chaotic. Should have just travelled in the general, the unreserved there. Eh? Would have been easier. You have to spin it, Leash, it might fall. Up. Okay. Let's see, I hope you put that up. Okay. One second, one second. Just we... I can put it up here, yeah. Gosh. Sorry everyone. <laughs> Coming from England. 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 Yes. Gosh. But we've caused an absolute yeah, ruckus, haven't we? <laughs> We're finally on. That guy was um, saving grace there. It helped us. It's super busy in here, isn't it? The fans are on, oh, there's like yes, look, about a million fans on the roof. So there is quite a breeze coming through. That was um, chaos. We've uh, ruined everyone's seating arrangement here. <laughs> but in all honesty, everyone's just sat in other people's seats, that's why it's a mess. So looking around now, probably should have just done in general. In the unreserved class, because that seemed quieter. Because it's a weekday and 
it's the ones with the beds. But to be fair, I just booked this blind, I didn't even know what I was booking, so. Oh well. So we're just on here for five hours now. My name? Alicia. Yes, and Ellis. Okay. Alright, there we go. Ticket man, there he goes. We're, um, we're in the right seats. That man was genuinely really nice. The man who showed us our carriage came over from his carriage to check we seated right and then he um, sorted it all out for us and made sure we got our seat, which is proper nice and he didn't have to do that. It's a nice guy. So yeah. Now we're just chilling. Really nice looking out the window. Yeah, so we can see through these barred windows the countryside going past. Soon I'll go and have a walk down the train and show you the view from the door. I'll have a look at the toilet, you know how it is. But yeah, it's alright. It's still a little bit cosy, but it's not that bad. It's alright. It's comfy. You say everyone's knees are touching down here, but it is what it is. It's on the train and geezer just come down. They dropped all the key rings off on the rack. And then people just look at them. And I guess if they like one, they can buy one. So yeah, and there's food coming down. There's a, a chai man selling tea and coffee. It's quiet down there. But then down there, it's super busy. It's all right, super. That like this. Oh, oh the door was oh, oh, You can go outside. Oh, <laughs> the other door on this train shuts on you. So my mate's telling me the door's gonna have to shut me off the train. The countryside, and let me tell you, it's absolutely beautiful. It's super green. The people are just doing farming. So nice. This whole train journey is going to be beautiful. I think. Look at this. Lovely. So like any train in this part of the world in Asia, if you want. Excuse me. Something's going on. What is there? There is a fire. Maybe not fire. Something smoke like this on the train. On uh, one that bogey. Oh, okay. oh, sorry. I'm just going to have a look. What's going on? Problem. Oh, it's got Some oh. problem. Some problem with no. the train. Train. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, checking. Maybe break down. No, no. no. Excuse okay. me. Gosh. No, no. Yeah. So the, 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 the train maybe is broke down? No, no, no. No. It will go again. So it will, they will, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Something's going on. Everyone's off the train. There's a commotion down there. I don't know what's happened. Oh, dear. See, look, the Indian trains, they're quite charming, aren't they? You can't deny they are quite charming. Old school. I like this. It's proper chill. You can just jump off the train. Hang out the train. It's really easy going. Sounds like it's. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm scared. I'm gonna get back on. <laughs> so there's a block here selling incense and other various bits. And they're blind, which you really have to respect that they're out here hustling like that. So I'm here buying some incense. I was just gonna say, everyone on this train is absolutely lovely. The people are super nice. Again, Tamil Nadu, everyone's proper hospitable. Everyone just chats their head off. Everyone's just just non-stop chats. You get on a bus or a train, you spend the whole journey chatting to people. And we're we're a bit cozy here, so we have to chat. So on the trains in India, you will see transsexuals that walk down and they'll clap and like what what would you call it? They believe they believe something mad, don't they? Yeah. They're like special beings. Yeah. But yeah. So they just come down the train and like harass everyone for money. And in the south apparently they're alright, as we've just seen, but in the north apparently they get really aggressive and a bit silly. This is good. Does he have the bar? 
Cubes, look at that. They do look good then. Very good. <laughs> well, well. Sweet, really sweet. Sweet, very hard. Very good. We'll definitely get stuck in your wisdom teeth if you have some sorry teeth like me. Jaggery. Jaggery. Dry ginger. Oh, that one's healthy. Oh, that one. Halva. How much is this? 100 rupees. Wow, what? Wheat halva. It feels really weird. It's like a clay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, how do we eat it? Oh, it's warm. No, no. Okay. It's warm. It's very hot. <laughs> Well, let's, let's try it. Okay. Oh, it tells you what's in it there at the back. Samba wheat, tea, wheat, cashew tea. nuts and sugar. 100% natural, no preservatives. Hey, right, so apparently, Tiruna Deli, where we are now, is famous for selling the halva. So we've got some. And we're going to try it. 100 rupees. I just pulled the key out of his pan. Thank you. Oh. What? Oh, it's in another bag. Wow, it's like a... Oh. It's very strange. Like jelly. So you break this bag, I'm guessing, it's like double layers. Okay, there we go. But it feels like it's just come out of the oven. Red on. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's like a jelly. Oh. Oh, it's delicious. It's very delicious. How oh, is it? It tastes very natural. It tastes like natural sugar. Let me try some. Let's try and get some. It's very it? sweet. Try and get some and rip some off. It's like a... Oh, I don't know how to describe that consistency. Palm sugar. It's weird. Like jam. Like, like jam, jam yeah. yeah. Like a thicker jam. You can even buy bread and the plate and... Oh, it is like jam. It's very good, to be fair. It's very sweet, but it tastes naturally sweet. Yeah, it is. You meant to eat it warm. You meant to eat it hot. Supposed to eat it warm, yeah. hot. Wow, that's interesting. So they got 100 rupees for that. Very heavy. Let's have a bit more. Actually, From here, made here. Yeah. Told me right, let me try What it. a strange snack. <laughs> know, when you're on a train journey in these countries and you pass through cities or towns that have a specialty, you should always try it. Very sweet, I can't imagine eating the so you can see, <laughs> these chaps are just up and down selling it. And they've all got on at this stop. I know I couldn't eat the whole bag, but I couldn't. Not very healthy. Not good for your health. You guys eat sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Bad for, bad for the teeth, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll have one more bit as well. And then we'll eat it after, eh? Yeah. Look at it, it's all weird. Oh, was peanut candy? Oh, peanut candy good. was very good. That's all right, that. You can't eat the full bag. You don't want to eat the full bag. You don't want to eat the full bag. So we're going to head down the train. Check out the toilet. And wash my hands, so here we go. So it is crowded, but it's not that crowded. Here's the sink. There we go, constantly running. It appears. Don't know how you can turn that off and on. There we go. And then where's the toilet? So there's toilets here, and there's also toilets here. Oh look, western style, how do we get in? Right, so we've got a decent western toilet, I say decent, but it's alright. I'm not going to sing it's praises, it's a bit stinky. But it's a western toilet and it looks like, what does the, the waste go? Just straight onto the track. And what have we got on this side? This is the squat toilet I'm guessing. There we go, so we'll use the squat toilet. If I can shut the door, how the hell do you shut the door? Hold on. Right, there we go, we've got a latch. 
Am I going to get locked in this Indian toilet forever? Anyway, I'll just show you the toilet. Here she is, squatter on the floor. Um, yeah, we've got a handle maybe to try and not fall over. And then we've got a little bucket of water to wash your hands. Do your business. Got a fan to keep you cool while you're having a poo. It's probably the um, worst train toilet we've seen in the world so far, but at least there is a toilet, so can we complain? So there we go. I thought I locked myself in then, I shit myself. Imagine getting locked into this toilet for the rest of your life. That'll be fucking miserable. Sorry, I had to swear. So here's the um, AC compartment, which I can feel. I can feel the AC coming out of there. Looks a bit luxurious. I think it's only like double the price. So I think it's like three quid or something, 300 rupees, and then, yeah. How do we open the door? God, you can tell I've never been on an Indian train before. What am I doing? So we can open the door. Ooh. Let's have a look off here then. Eh? Oh, we've got a goat. Goat on the track. There we go. So yeah, the Indian train experience. It's all right, to be fair. People are lovely. The people on the train, everyone's really nice. That are in the lowest, the cheapest reserve class and the people are really nice. Everyone's really chatty, kind, they look out for you. The views are all right. Every now and then you get a cracking view. And yeah, can I complain? This is funny though, you can literally hang out of the train. Just gotta be careful, aren't you? In the train experience, guess a thumbs up. Well, just had a very strange encounter with a train conductor. I wish I had the camera on. Very strange walk. I'm convinced he wanted to marry me. It was all a bit weird. But anyway, Indian trains are alright. This is the best place to be though when you just come and chill by the door. Just soak in the views, because it is a bit cramped in there to be fair. There's quite a few people in. Look at this. The views are well nice. You can't say they're not. Super green. Just like rural countryside, which is what, what we love, so we can't be complaining. Toilets are a bit shy, but hopefully we don't need a poop. That's it, he was even trying to upgrade us into the AC car. I was like, no mate, it's alright, we're happy in here. We're, we're happy where we are, the people are alright. Everyone's decent. Wow, look at these views. Look at that. That is a view. Look at these mountains in the south. Okay, sir. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. There we go. Very nice to meet you. This is us. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Adele. Let's let people off before we um, get on it. Manners. We go far. Jesus, it's hot here, it's because it's all white. So that train was alright, to be fair. It was only like six hours, but it was pretty comfortable. Anytime you're bum out, so whatever, you just want to stand near the door and look at the views. It was great. We had some lovely people sat across from us and next to us. So. Yeah, everyone was alright, every single person was alright. So now, how do we get to Kanyakumari? Because this train station is like way out on the other side of the city. I don't know. You can probably take an auto rickshaw all the way, but it'd be very expensive for us anyway. So maybe we can get to a main road where there's a bus. Let's see. I wonder how everyone else is doing it. But this part of India, can you see behind the train? The mountains are epic. There's mountains everywhere, massive mountains. It's really beautiful when we're driving through. There's like lakes, rivers, mountains. It's lovely. There's a bus there. Is that going to Kanyakumari? Or maybe it goes to town first and then... It looks like it is, everyone's getting off. Let's run then. <laughs> right, we got this bus here, where is this going? Is it going where we want or not? I don't know. There's a load of autos here though. No, it says Vadasari. Maybe we can ask someone who's the boss man. 
So we don't know where this bus goes, but we're going to get on it anyway because nobody can tell us otherwise where to go. So we'll just get on anyway and just hope we go somewhere helpful, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Fifteen each. Fifteen each to the bus stand. Not too bad. Bingo ticket. Oh, sorry. Attach. The whistle in the air. I think we're here. Maybe not. Okay. But yeah, this is us. Right. Let's see how easy this is. It's too hot for this. It's too fucking hot. So now, hopefully, someone's just gonna shout, Can you come out here? And say, Come here. And then we're sorted. Let's see. Right here we go. This lovely couple who was on the other bus. We've pretty much just followed them, we've latched onto them. And I think this is the Kanye Komari bus. And it looks busy, it's heaving. <laughs> Everyone's going. There we go. But we might get a seat if we get on now. Oh, these back seats. Let's get on the back. Gosh. Everything's just so busy in India. And this is the south, it's supposed to be chilled. I wonder what it's like in the north. I bet it's mental. Oh, we've got a seat though. Great. Everyone's fighting all the seats here. <laughs> We're on. See that guy, did he? He pulled his bag through the window. Yeah, to get a seat. Yes. Dedication, gotta do what you gotta do. Can you come on? No, two. Don't know how much this costs. 27 inch. So what's the change cost in India? Okay. Nandri. 27 each. Not too bad, I think it's like half an hour. If you've ever wanted to ride the busiest public transport in your life, come to India. Is it even that busy? Still, the life of kind of sardines is flipping well on. I just want to go to bed. How do you feel, like? Really hungry. I'm tired. You know what? Actually, I feel dusty, is how I feel. I feel like even when I wash my hair in India, three seconds later, I'm dusty again. Dustiest country I've ever been so far. That title might get revoked, but for now. Can you come last stop? Here we are. Can you come last Goodness sake. Here we go. The Hotel Raja Palace. Let's be the judge. Is it a palace or what? I'm not sure. We'll see. Hello, sir. Um, Ellis, you have booking. Ellis reading. Yes, that's it. That's it. Three days. Three days, yes. Right, everyone. Here we are. The Raja Palace. I mean, it ain't much of a palace. We've just moved from a room downstairs into this one, which looks a little bit better. I'll just show you what you get for £10 a night here in Kanyakumari. I mean, we don't really have much choice because everywhere's sold out. It's a very popular place. We've just got a bed, 
ceiling fan, bathroom over here. There we go. Simple as you like. Shower. I'm guessing there's hot water. Stinks a bit, smells of drains, but that's just standard. Um, let's check the pillowcase, because downstairs, let me tell you, let's up. Flipping heck. Where have they got these? You know what I mean? What is this? Like, what's that? Just damp or what? It looks like it's been flipping tea stained. What's that? It's been a murder. Jesus Christ. Yeah, ten pound a night. Bloody hell. So what we're gonna do is hopefully go and get some food and end this video because we're starving. We've not eaten all day properly. We've been like all over the show. So yeah, living in luxury, the palace. So nice. I'm in paradise. I've just spotted. We've also got a toilet roll, which is one of the first times in India. Hallelujah, there we go. Happy days. Tell us about your tea. It's alright. It's probably one of the worst cups of tea that I've ever had in India. Really? Yeah, shit. So, it seems all the restaurants around here are shut at this time until like 6, 7. So that's not good. We found a little tea shop. Well, she's had a tea. She says the tea's crap. I've got a coconut. And I've got to be honest with you. It's not a very good one. I mean, I can't really blame the man because he didn't make the coconut, but it just doesn't have that refreshing taste, I don't know. It's just one of them. <laughs> Alright, pal. This dog looks so sorry. I think the guy's going to feed it though. Maybe. It looks like it needs to be food. Looks like it needs to be put down, actually. Spirit's life. That poor sod. It's getting a snack. I think he's getting a snack, though. He's getting a biscuit. The dog's getting a biscuit. <laughs> the, dog's, the dog's getting a piece of cake. That is a kind gentleman. Look at that. Look at that, dog's loving that cake. I'll tell you what, this is another day of fantastic content we're bringing in. I don't know what to say, I mean I could, I could have tried my best and uh, pretended this was the greatest day of my whole life and been super smiley and positive but then, who would I be kidding? Why is that so shit? Right here. Sour. Sour? Yeah. So what do you call this? Baigan Bartha. Baigan Bartha. Alright, so here we've got a dish. We've come to this little Maharashtran restaurant, which is a state that Mumbai's in. And this is a roasted eggplant dish. There's tomato in here, peas, and I don't know what. Okay, Nandri, thank you. So yeah, I don't know what this is, but we pretty much just looked at the menu, looked for something we didn't know what it were and ordered it just to, why not? It smells good. Does it smell good? It smells good. And fresh, fresh and fresh. It does smell very good. It's got these little fresh breads. These weren't called chapatis on the menu, they were called something weird, what were they called? A name I've never heard before. Should we double check? Bali, she's finding the bread. Pulki, pulka, pulka. Right. So these are called pulka on the menu. Very hot, fresh. And then our mate behind us has made us a couple of ginger teas. Can't go wrong with it. One of the best drinks on the planet. And it's very good, very gingery. Mm. That's good. Because it tastes like strong tea. Strong ginger as well. Feel that like ginger bird in your throat. Should we try it? Great. Yeah, right. Oh, do you try it first? Oh, that's well done. Really garlicky onion. Actually, spicy as well. Really? Yeah, it's delicious. Really fresh. This bread's fresh. It smells fantastic. Can't beat fresh bread. Oh gosh, it's hot. I can't pick it. It's too hot. Right. There we go. 
Oh, oh. I shouldn't be complaining because it's fresh. It's got a nice kick to it. Very good actually. I don't know how to describe it, it's quite earthy. That's pretty good that. It's got a nice kick to it, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Some carrots. Curd. Yeah. Uh, curd. Curd. Yes, yes, yes. You know that's a carrot. Oh! Leash has for curd and that's what he brought. You know that's a carrot. I brought the bacon. It's really good. <laughs> so, we've got some carrots, and then we're going to get some curd as well. <laughs> so this spot, I was unsure. It was busy. It's not even like on the map or anything. So we thought, oh, let's just give it a chance. And to be fair, the food's quite good. So, we took the chance and it um, paid yeah. off. Curd, there like we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. Okay. There's your curd. The curd in India is very good. Fresh every day. Like a proper dairy product. Mm. That's the atomic. I like to eat it after I like, finish my food. I don't know why it just makes my tummy feel good. Do you want some? Yeah, go on, scoop some in here, please. Now, little tray. Look at this. We've got the banana leaf and these little pockets for your dishes. So if you came with a lot of people, you could all order a different dish and share. Well, let's try these carrots then. Oh Bunch of carrots. Right, there we go. Ginger tea. You can have worse day of your life with a ginger tea. I'll make you happy for at least 10 minutes. Right, we got some lemon rice delivered because somebody, I can't remember when, maybe yesterday or today, told us it's really good down here in the south. Look at that massive mountain of lemon rice because we've still got a lot of this food left. Triple it some more. Oh, we're gonna have to use this uh, messy spoon. Or should we take the yeah, other scrape some in? Wow, look at that, it looks um, very good. There's all kinds of stuff in this. We'll do that for now. Look at that. Wow. It's fantastic to be fair. Let's get some more of the dish leash. Thank you. Some more of this roasted eggplant dish. Let's try it. Oh, there's a bit of oil in there, is it ghee? There's all kinds of stuff in it, Leash. Oh, what's this? Hey, beetroot. Beetroot? Oh, bloody hell, that's going to stay in my hands. <laughs> got to be careful with that, the beetroot. My mate's got the funniest accent ever. <laughs> I'm just going to try a bit of that, mate, so. Very good, actually. Beetroot's good, isn't it? Really good. Beetroot takes me right back to Eastern Europe. What do we do? Get some of the, the dish with the rice. And the rice is very hot. Must be careful. Gosh, let's try this then. It's very good. Very good. I have to say it. How's the rice? Really good. It's got like peanuts in it. It's got like. Is that what it is? Peanut? It's peanut, yeah it is. I don't know. Yeah, and then little thing, is it? Little, little tiny peanut. I'm guessing this is like really good, isn't it? It's really good, it's really good. Like, look at that. The rice looks beautiful. Yeah, it's really good. Let's just try some of the rice in its all. It's a bit of a messy one. It's very good. To be honest, it's very delicious. Look at that. You gotta be careful, there's something crunchy in there. It could hurt your teeth. Oh, it's wonderful. And it's beetroot as well. The beetroot's not nasty actually. Does it go well with it? Mm. Didn't expect anything from this meal, but everything's actually really good. So don't judge your book by its cover. Last thing we've got to show you, our mate just came back over. He's brought some pickled lime or pickled lemon. One of the two. And this stuff is really good. I mean, on its own, it's a bit pungent. But when you put it with all your your, um, your dish, it becomes very good. Mm, it's very good. Please loves it. Nice. Like, refreshing at the same mm. time. 
really good. Proper zingy. This is really good. It's a bit messy, but we had these the other day, right? And we knew we had to get our own, so we got ourselves a little tub. Now this is cumin wrapped in like some sort of sweet outside. I forgot the name. Maybe one of these lads don't know the name. I'll ask him in a minute, but they're very good for um, after your meal. So yeah, look at that. Like a little after food freshener. Good for your belly. Very good. Excuse me, sir. What do you call these? Jira. The, the name, Jira. <laughs> How you say? I don't know what they're called, but they're very good. Someone will tell us. They're very good. Delicious. Not the best after meal snack you could ever have. So, which is it? Three six. Oh, for goodness sake, I've dropped the bill. Okay, 360. My friend, what do you call this? What is the... Jira. 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 Okay, there we go everyone. Jira. Very good. 360, it's like three pounds fifty for that food really good to be fair. Can you come out? Okay, thank you sir. So yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Is it Andrew? We're the last people in. They closed. They closed on us. Is that food we good? That made the day alright. It's not been the best day, it's not been super fun, but that that's um it's brought the day up a bit. Yeah, it has. Food always brings the day up a bit. And the people were nice in there. Yeah. But now we've got to go back to the prison cell. Yes. You know what's funny in that restaurant? We were the only people here with our hands. I'm guessing everybody's come from different parts of India and everyone was using a spoon. And everybody seemed very upper class. Yeah. Felt um felt like we were being heavily judged by everyone in there then. <laughs> I didn't get very many people, nice looks. Yeah, they were giving us, um, people weren't looking at us nicely. I don't know why. Hey you are. Right, here we are. We're going to leave this video here. We made it to the southernmost part of India. In all its glory. So you'll probably see another couple of videos from here, maybe. Keep your eyes out for them. That's all I'm going to say. Indian travel day, classic. Not the best in the world. Not the worst in the world, everything's pretty easy to be honest, people are helpful. Just um, could be a bit tiring and a bit hot and sweaty and busy, but other than that, it's alright. It's alright. Right, can somebody please explain this? The side of this bus says, feel like a plane, dot dot dot. You tell me what that's all about. That's a, that's um. That's a funny one. I like it. I like it. It's a mystery. <laughs>